Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to finally be giving you our little nursery nook tour in our master bedroom, as well as finally giving you the scoop on the amazing bedside sleeper slash bassinet that I have been nonstop talking about. Okay, so if you are an OG follower and have been around for a while, you know that we are currently living in a three bedroom condo in Chicago. This is our master bedroom, and then we also have Jace's room, which is my firstborn son. And then we have a third room, which is currently an office slash workout room slash storage. I swear I just cleaned that room out right before Aria was born. Ah, I just can't seem to keep that room clean no matter how hard I try. But regardless of what that room looks like, we were obviously gonna have Aria in the room with us for a few months while she's a newborn anyways. Um, so I didn't even bother buying anything new for a nursery or setting anything up at the moment. We will deal with that later, maybe in a couple of months when we are ready to transition her out of here. Anyways, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. If you like my content today, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always notified when I put up a new video. Also make sure to hit the like button. It helps so much in the algorithm when you guys give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get into the tour. We are currently in the master bedroom right now. This can be like the smallest tour you've ever seen. It's not really a tour, it's literally just the corner of our room the nook okay so so you may have seen the video where we were setting up the crib and putting it together and we you know put it in the corner of the room here and then we also needed to add a dresser for her um however like we don't have a ton of space i mean it's a good enough sized room for us we're just limited on closet space so both richie and i have a dresser so what i ended up doing was i moved the nightstand by richie's side of the bed which is this side we put his dresser here next to his side instead so he has the one dresser i have one dresser as well across from me there and then we had an open space where richie's dresser used to be against the wall nearest to where her crib is here so that's where we set up her dresser all our dressers are totally mismatched. They're <laughs> not part of a set. Um, I will link the one from Ikea and the one from Target. Richie's was thrifted, so I can't link that, but it's okay. At least they're all white. <laughs> so we have some bit of matching going on. So her dresser is kind of part of the nursery nook. It's close enough. So I'll explain how I organized everything there. On the very top, we keep the Kikaroo. Um, I didn't know if I'd be using this changing station or not, but actually we do use it a ton. Richie uses it more than me because the height is actually really good height for him. I tend to change around the bed, but regardless, um, it's the same one we had from Jace. So we're just reusing it and I love this thing. It is the easiest cleanup. I do highly recommend it if you're thinking about what changing station to get your kiddo. So I just have that on, on top it fits perfectly and then I have a little vase with some pampas grass so that we just have a little look going on in the very top drawer I have my most used items and obviously things that are very easy access that we reach for when we're changing her such as the diapers the wipes um, creams and we also keep burp cloths in here and swaddles the second drawer is super full it's for all of her clothes it includes her onesies bows socks mittens hats and individual tops and bottoms so i really like to roll up her onesies i find that that's just honestly the fastest and easiest way because like folding baby clothes into fours is just too much time let's just do a roll put them in there you can see them all so that you know um, which one you're actually reaching for and as you see in this clip I am not the person who has individual organized compartments going on I am the person who just finds a box in your house and uses it to store things inside so that's what you see here it's not perfect but it works just fine for me the third drawer down is just stuff that's too big on her at the moment she doesn't fit in it yet in it yet I'll be moving it up when the time comes a lot of it is stuff for the summer when she's bigger a lot of gifted items and things that like still have tags on them that I got from people so um, I haven't like fully organized that drawer yet They're just kind of sitting and waiting for the time when they actually fit her and then the last drawer down is a few things Half of it is for my stuff including my wraps and carriers So like my Sakura bloom carriers in there and my Moby wrap and then I have an extra um, car seat cover in there and the other half of it is actually toys and things for Jace because it's an easy access drawer and it's on the bottom He can open it up. We spend a lot of time in the master bedroom when I'm like nursing art, nursing, <laughs> nursing Aria 
and Jace needs some form of entertainment <laughs> because he wants to crawl all over me in that moment. You guys know how it is. So I'll be like, open your drawer, grab a toy. So we keep a few things down there. Next to the dresser, I keep a space heater and a humidifier. Um, it's just kind of the best location considering where the crib is because I want to make sure that she is staying warm enough in this room. This room um, gets a little bit chilly because we have our huge balcony glass doors here so we get a bit of a draft coming in. So I, I need to make sure she's staying warm and then the humidifier has been great because she has congestion going on and like boogers that she has trouble draining out. I'll link our humidifier below. It's been really good because it's so big. Um, I don't have to constantly put new water in it. I think I fill it up to the top and it lasts about three days, which is nice. Okay, let's move on to the fun part, which is everything going on behind me. So first of all, you'll see in the B-roll that the crib is not pulled up directly next to the bed the way it is now. This is usually how it is, obviously, so I can reach for her throughout the night, but it fits so perfectly in that little corner and I think it looks better. So that's how I filmed everything and I'll probably have it pushed up there in the future once she's not waking up as much in the night. So I searched for quite some time for the perfect bassinet because I didn't feel like what we had in the past worked really well. Right after you give birth, you really don't have a lot of ab strength. So it's very hard to reach down and into a bassinet, which is what is happening with a lot of the ones that are out on the market. So when I found the Baby Bay Bedside Sleeper, which is exactly what this is called, I really found exactly what I needed for a few reasons. So first of all, the crib mattress is pulled up exactly parallel to the bed here so that I don't even have to necessarily get up in the night to soothe her. I can just drape my arm right over and put the pacifier in her mouth or give her a little jiggle and she'll fall back asleep right away. It is super simple and also we don't have a bed frame on our bed, which I've mentioned before. So the height of our bed is a little bit lower than most and this was actually able to adjust at the height that we needed. So it does have an adjustable height. I also love that this creates easy access to the baby while also allowing for safe co-sleeping. So personally, I don't feel comfortable having the baby in the bed with me. We have a queen size bed, Richie's huge. I move a lot, like it's just not a good idea to have the baby with us. This is a nice way that I can still have her very near me, which obviously I love to keep an eye on her throughout the night, but at the same time, just knowing that she is safe in her own space. I also never liked that bassinets are used for such a short period of time and then you put it in storage and like never use it again. It just seems like such a waste. And what's great about this is it actually can grow with your baby. So right now it is in the bedside sleeper setup, but you actually can add a wooden bar that goes across the top to create that fourth wall and it becomes a actual bassinet, which will keep your baby safe when they're like rolling around and actually moving. And then get this, it can become a full size crib as well. Um, you would basically get another half piece like this in which they can anchor together. And then you've got the full size crib that's holding a bigger baby. So that's definitely what we're gonna be doing in the future, especially once she's in her own nursery and this is gonna be way too small for her at that point. Beyond that, you can even like turn it into a bench like this once your kid is older and just have it as a little bench piece in the room. So it's very versatile. I love that for my minimalist self that doesn't want a million different pieces. It's just one piece that can convert to the new piece. Like, it's amazing, I love it. I have the maxi size and the color is untreated. And I do have a discount code, it's NicoleG10 for 10% off at babybay.us. You can check the link in the description. Okay, so that is all the details on the crib. If you guys have any additional questions, just leave them below. And if this video is helpful so far, again, just a reminder to hit that thumbs up button. Okay, so right above the crib, I did put a little wooden hook that I actually thrifted. Just hung a few cute things like the name sign that I had for her, um, a little rainbow teether that I have, as well as, what else is up there? Oh, the a little white swan that we got as a gift and then her tiny little tiny little dress that doesn't even fit her anymore she's already grown out of it she like wore it one time i took one picture of her in it for her one month photo and i don't think it's gonna ever fit her again so i'm like you know what we're just gonna put this up here because it's the cutest little thing and then i hooked on these little sunglasses that someone gifted to her as well they're so cute they're not gonna fit her for a while but they're just the most adorable little flower sunglasses. Above all of that, I do have a hanging plant. It's a silver pothos and it is secure to the wall, so please don't freak out. Okay, let's move on to the nightstand. 
right behind me. So I've had this forever <laughs> since I was at my parents' house. Um, I probably need a new nightstand, but you know what? This is doing, doing the job. So it sits in the corner because it's just the perfect little space I need as I call for my workstation throughout the night. There's always a million things going on. If you saw my realistic night with a newborn, you would have seen everything I keep on the little nightstand. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it right up here. Okay, so let's start with the little basket here. This is actually a little basket that I thrifted, but it's got four little compartments and I just keep things that I need quickly. I don't really use it all anymore, but um, like my Tylenol was there, my medication from when I first got back from the hospital. I keep um, Aria's vitamin D drops there. I keep the no sucker thing because I use that throughout the night on her almost every night. I keep the pacifiers in there sometimes. So just a few things in there. Oh, and then I also have my little wall sky. I keep saying scounce. Okay, sconce. <laughs> night light. It's like the perfect light to just reach over and turn on quickly when I'm dealing with her throughout the night. And of course, at nighttime, I have like my water bottle on my nightstand. I keep my hocket there for the morning. It's just good to have something to set all the things on, as you know. Okay, so let's move on to the first top drawer. I keep the diapers and wipes nearest to the bed so I can just grab them with one hand as I'm quickly trying to change her throughout the night. I also have a huge thing of breast pads there. Um, I love these breast pads, they're from Amazon and I'm almost always changing my breast pads out throughout the night because I do end up leaking. So I need to have that in arm's reach as well as some extra burp cloths that I keep in there. Then the second drawer is for laundry actually. Um, anything that's mine or Aria's because I wash them together. So a lot of times throughout the night, my breast pads will get thrown in there. Any dirty burp cloths will get thrown in there. Anything she's had a blowout on, um, I just keep them all in the same drawer. So that's become like our laundry bin. So yeah, everything that I use throughout the nighttime is within arm's reach. So I literally don't have to get up physically and move out of the bed at all. The last few things I wanted to show you is the portable sound machine. I mentioned this in my nighttime video. I keep it plugged into the wall throughout the night because it needs to be charging up. Um, so it doesn't run out of battery and it just hangs right here on the crib, which is really nice. I can also remove it and go, you know, take it in the car seat with me if I need to, or in the living room if she's napping there during the day. That is it, that is the entire tour. It was very simple, nothing crazy, but it works really well for us. It took me like two weeks after Aria was born to figure out where I wanted to place everything and just what made sense in this space. So hopefully that's helpful to any of you out there who also live in a smaller space or need to put your baby in your room with you for an extended period of time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow us over on Instagram at Nicole Legreen to see our daily lives. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.